Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shanmuga Priya, your prep lad of faculty for biochemistry. Speaking of biochemistry, I would vehemently oppose when somebody says that biochemistry is a pre-clinical subject. Because I strongly believe that biochemistry is completely clinical. Let me ask you a few questions. Are you allowed to treat a critically ill patient without electrolyte values? The answer is no. Are you allowed to treat a patient who is in CCU without ABG analysis being done? The answer is again no. Leave alone all these extreme conditions. Whenever you are treating a patient, the patient might be suffering from trauma or because of an infection or inflammation or neoplasia. Whenever we are saying that we are managing a patient, we need to say that we are managing the patient in such a way that we establish biochemical homeostasis of the person. So the gratification that I get as a clinical biochemist who is involved in translational research is immense. And let me give you a sample of what gives me such a gratification on a day-to-day -day basis with a real-life example. This is a patient who was 23 years old at that point of time. And he came with a complaint of uh, an acute abdominal pain which was radiating to the back. There was fever and the clinician suspected acute pancreatitis because the person also gave a history of a binge drinking episode the day before. So blood sample was collected and it was sent to the laboratory asking for serum amylase and lipase estimation. When we centrifuged the blood sample, we were surprised to see a lipemic plasma. I am very sure that all of you have seen a normal plasma which is transparent, right? It is completely transparent straw color. But in this case, the patient had a lipemic plasma and that made us suspect hypertriglyceridemia. And whenever there is hypertriglyceridemia causing lipemic plasma, we cannot directly estimate amylase or lipase because most of the biochemical investigations, be it glucose estimation or amylase estimation, most of these are dependent on light passing through a transparent serum or a transparent plasma. If it's milky white, it is no more transparent, so none of the estimations can be directly done. So what we did was we got an access to lipoclear reagent and we treated the blood sample with this lipoclear reagent. We allowed the lipids to get deposited and then we estimated amylase and lipase. As the clinician suspected, it was acute pancreatitis with an elevation of amylase and lipase. But because we got interested in the milky white plasma or the lipemic plasma, we went ahead and we estimated lipid profile. Serum cholesterol was normal, but serum triglyceride was as high as 1350 mg per deciliter. So we went and we observed the patient. The patient had eruptive xanthomas. So this combination of eruptive xanthoma with pancreatitis with lipemic plasma made us suspect type 1 hyperlipoproteinemia or familial chylomicronemia syndrome. As we all know, familial chylomicronemia syndrome is caused by the defect of APO C2 or lipoprotein lipase. So out of interest, we wanted to estimate lipoprotein lipase enzyme activity for this individual. As you all know, clinical laboratories do not estimate lipoprotein lipase on a regular basis. Because it's not like on a day-to-day -day basis we are going to see a patient of familial chylomicronemia syndrome, right? So we do not have a kit to estimate lipoprotein lipase in all clinical laboratories on a regular basis. So we had to tap all our resources to find out an access for lipoprotein lipase estimation. Thankfully, we got a kit to estimate lipoprotein lipase activity. And what we did was, we injected heparin into the individual and then we collected blood sample. Because only in that case, the blood sample can act as a source of lipoprotein lipase. We collected this blood sample, we allowed the plasma to get separated. In that plasma, we estimated lipoprotein lipase activity. As expected, it was low. So we confirmed the diagnosis as familial chylomicronemia syndrome. By the time we did this, the clinician said that the person is again complaining of acute abdominal pain. Looks like it's a recurrent pancreatitis. And the person also complained of sudden visual loss. Let me tell you the background for this. A lipemic plasma causes viscous circulation. And this viscous circulation clogs all small capillaries. 
and because of these vaso occlusive episodes a person can complain of visual loss so now it's time that we react to this hyperviscosity we have to bring down lipid levels and to bring down lipid levels there is one easy way it is fresh frozen plasma administration because fresh frozen plasma has all lipoproteins and this is a plasma of a normal individual with normal lipoproteins with normal apo c2 so if the person has apo c2 defect then the person will respond to fresh frozen plasma administration so it is our responsibility as a clinical biochemist to find out what exactly is the cause of familial chylomicronemia syndrome in this patient is it because of apo c2 defect or is it because of lipoprotein lipase defect so what we did was we did a mixing study wherein we mixed the patient's plasma with pooled normal plasma so pooled normal plasma is a normal plasma that is obtained from apparently healthy individuals with normal lipid profile so that plasma will act as a source of apo c2 so we did a mixing study we mixed the patient's plasma with pooled normal plasma and then we repeated lipoprotein lipase activity the repeat lipoprotein lipase activity luckily was normal this means so long there had been a deficiency of apo c2 which we supplemented by adding pooled normal plasma so we informed the clinician that this is a patient of familial chylomicronemia syndrome caused by apo c2 defect who will respond to fresh frozen plasma administration So fresh frozen plasma administration was initiated and miraculously the person responded and what else can be more gratifying than this so this is how a clinical biochemist will be able to contribute to management of a patient so i have two take home messages for all of you here take home message number 1 is biochemistry is completely clinical you should also vehemently oppose when somebody says it's pre clinical so take home message number 2 is as clinicians you should maintain a strong two way communication with lab professionals lab medicine is something which is rapidly evolving and as lab professionals we get continuously updated with all these latest advancements and i strongly believe that eyes do not see what the mind does not know so our vision and our view of a of a disorder would be completely different from clinician's view and vision so if you get the other vision then the management can be appropriate and perfect yeah thank you